keeping the driver hydrated at speeds up to 200 miles an hour must be a bit of a technical challenge. It seems simple enough when you're in the car and you demand a drink, but from your side, Chris, what goes into the mechanics of it all? In essence, it's a simple system. It's a, effectively a squeezy bag piped to the driver's helmet. Uh, years gone by, we've gone for more technical systems which involve having a pump, but there's downsides to that where you've got additional weight. We have had it in the past where the drink pump fails. It just keeps pumping, pumping. So explain what's going on with this system then we have here. So underneath the helmet, you can see there's the, the tube comes out there. So you're, you're sucking through that tube. Yeah. And then what happens? So basically this is a one-way valve with a filter, obviously to stop any bits getting through. And a one-way valve to stop when, if you're sucking, when you stop sucking, it will slowly drain back down to the bag. So this is really the magic behind it because it without the most this, part, yeah. yeah, without this, you'd just be experiencing the water going wherever it wanted to. Yeah, I guess, or never being there when you wanted it. When they get out quickly at the end of the race, the tube simply pulls off like that. That's left in the car, and he walks away. Because I was going to say that. I, I don't really remember seeing the drivers fiddling around trying to disconnect a drink at the end of the race. I yeah. see the radio yeah. get disconnected. They normally remember the radio, but tend to forget about the drink. Ah, okay. Maybe because they haven't had it all race, it hasn't worked. Yeah. I forgot about that. But yeah. <laughs> so next time at a Grand Prix, I'm going to look out for the driver getting out of the car <laughs> yeah. and seeing that splash of fluid yeah. when they jump yeah. out Maybe and forget for to Google. disconnect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much, Chris.